Stan Gibalisco here to show you two schematic symbols that you will see in circuit diagrams from time to time. They look very similar, but in fact they do exactly the opposite thing. One of them is a light emitting diode, shown here, and the other one is a photodiode shown here. Now what does a light emitting diode do? Well you, you're probably pretty well aware of exactly what a light emitting diode does because you see them everywhere. You see them in all kinds of electronic devices and electrical devices. Uh, usually a little colored dot but they can get quite sophisticated even to the point of providing alphanumeric displays and other such, uh, other such things. But basically when you apply a certain voltage in the forward direction to a light emitting diode, it'll produce light or sometimes infrared, in which case it's called an infrared emitting diode. I-R-E-D. Light emitting diode called an LED and I guess some of them even produce ultraviolet so you'd have a, a UVED but the arrows always point outward away from the diode symbol and you forward bias the diode to make it work that means the negative terminal should go towards the cathode or go to the cathode the more negative voltage and the more positive voltage goes to the anode in the case of a photodiode, what it amounts to is a variable resistance element whose resistance depends on the intensity of infrared, visible light, or ultraviolet striking it. Uh, it's contained in a clear case, just as is the photo, or the um, light emitting variety. The arrows point in, showing that the light comes in and strikes the PN junction. Uh, but rather than forward biasing this diode, you should reverse it, reverse bias it. So the negative terminal goes to the anode, or the negative voltage to the anode, and the more positive voltage to the cathode. So that when there's no light shining on this device, it will not conduct. It will only begin to conduct when you have a sufficient intensity of infrared visible light or ultraviolet striking this PN junction. Then the device will conduct and the extent of the conductance will depend on the intensity of the light or infrared or ultraviolet. The more intense the radiant energy, the lower the resistance gets down to a certain point. So these symbols look very much alike but they represent quite different devices. Just remember that when the arrows point out that's the direction that the radiant energy goes as it emerges from the device or enters the device. In this case it emerges from the device you have a light emitting diode. In this case it enters the device and you have a photodiode. Basically it's that simple but these two symbols can be very easily confused. Neither one of these symbols represents a so-called photovoltaic cell which produces its own um, its own voltage literally its own current when light strikes it. That's a an entirely different animal although you may sometimes see it symbolized as if it were a photodiode. So take care know what you're looking at. Uh, Stan Gibalisco is signing off. Until next time so long.